Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Jenna Handmade. Today I'm going to show you how to start crocheting by how to make slip knot and how to make a chain. Okay, and for this I use 2mm yarn and for hook 3mm. Let's get started. First, I will show you how to make a slip knot. By making a slip knot, it's uneasy. So, you can create it by two ways. And the first one is you can put your hook on the yarn, twist one, and hold this yarn over and pull through. Okay, now you get a slip knot. You can adjust it. Okay. For another way, is you hold the tail yarn like this and This way. Again, this Italian. And you pull through the yarn by this hole and you will get it. Here. So you can choose which one is easy for you. After we have a slip knot, we will continue to do a chain stitch. Chain stitch are a foundation part of crocheting. After we making a slip knot, the next step in our project is uh, we usually create a serif or chain. It's one of the several action source stick that every beginner should know. We may change by yarn over and pull through. Yeah, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through here you see so I will make 10 it's 1 2 3 yarn over and pull through 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 okay we continue do this until we get 10 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, here I get 10 chain. Back here, back chain, front. For the front chain, you will see like this. It's back. As a simple chain, it can become less for baby shoe or string for tying packet and sometimes it's hanger for gift or something that we want 